shall we? Hi! Welcome to our brand new exhibition about NFTs in the digital art market. Do you know what NFTs are? Uh. NFT is short for non-fungible token, which is the groundbreaking blockchain technology that also used for cryptocurrency, a new form of currency like Bitcoin or Ethereum. With NFTs, you can track the ownership of digital assets. This is revolutionary, as copying art is not harmful to the artist anymore. <gasps> what? So basically, NFTs are just digital certificates which prove that someone owns something. These certificates can refer to an artwork, a contract, or something similar. You can find them listed in blockchains. Blockchains are just financial lists online which document who bought what. The thing is that they are accessible and visible to anyone. Um. Keep up! My favorite thing about NFTs is that they protect art and allow everyone to sell their own. An NFT is stored on a blockchain which publicly records the ownership so that everyone can see who it belongs to. No doubt at all. You cannot copy an NFT since each one is unique and irreplaceable, so no one can steal it from you. Sure, but the NFT that you create or buy represents only one copy of the artwork, not the artwork itself. Someone can still right click and save it as a JPEG on their computers. Or if you weren't fast enough, someone can just steal your art from your Instagram or website and make an NFT out of it first, then sell it and earn money from it. And that hasn't been made illegal yet either. Hey kids, wanna buy some memes? Uh, no. One of the most positive things about NFTs is that everyone can be part of the new market. While the traditional art market has its gatekeepers and is mainly reserved for the rich and powerful, the NFT market offers a great opportunity for new stakeholder engagement. This is democracy in action. This shows the You think NFTs are a great chance for you to earn money? You think the new NFT market is liberal and fair? Then you are terribly wrong. Best example, the Beeple Affair. Beeple is the most heard of artist on the NFT market. Last year, he sold the second most expensive artwork in NFT history. But how? With the help of a sly investor who wanted to increase the value of his artwork because he guessed it, he already had a stake in his other artworks. The investor in question knew that by buying his recent artwork for a ludicrously high price, he artificially raised the value of all artworks created by people. In the end, he was able to sell his other assets for a price 100 times larger than the sum invested. What a great opportunity for all of us. Security! Security! The blockchain, which NFTs are stored and traded on, provides a completely new way of trading and investing, because it is transparent and decentralized. That means that one single institution does not control the transactions, verifications or decision-making processes. Instead, this power has been removed from the center and split to all users. Everyone can see everything and people can invest and trade without middlemen. Since these digital ledgers are more difficult for the government to control, they cannot get involved and impose their authority and rules on us. Though the idea of decentralization is cool, the crypto system has still eventually centralized, since most of the NFT mining is done on a small number of platforms. Besides, one of the major dangers of it is that what is written on blockchain stays on the blockchain. It can hardly be deleted. Now, imagine someone else sharing delicate or personal information about you, such as your private pictures or videos. They are now visible to everyone, and you can never remove them. That seems pretty dangerous to me. Please leave! Leave! Wow. Breathtaking. Hmm. 
Now it's your time to shine. The market has been crashing recently, so you have the unique possibility to buy an NFT right now and profit later when the prices rise again. Can you believe it? It's so easy. No. No, 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 I definitely don't want to buy an NFT. The work of an artist is not even sufficiently protected. Only well-known artists seem to be able to take root in the NFT market. To think that NFTs can be used to upload inappropriate and even illegal content? And oh, by the way, we can't delete them. And it feels like another way for rich people to flaunt their money to symbolically own links to stick figures and pixels. I hate this fucking job. Hehehehe <laughs> <laughs>